Hello, before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload new videos. includes smaller battery, less power. Porsche hasn't wasted any time. Less than six weeks after the debut of the Porsche Taycan Turbo and Turbo S, the German automaker is expanding its family of all electric sedans and sticking to its tried and true nomenclature. Meet the 2020 Porsche Taycan 4S. The new, most affordable Taycan follows the trail blazed by the Turbo and Turbo S featuring twin electric motors, a two-speed transmission in back, and an 800-volt electrical architecture that allows impressively quick recharging speed. Every 4S comes standard with a 79.2 kWh lithium-ion battery pack, although Porsche will offer the Turbo and Turbo S 93.4-KWH pack as an option called the Performance Battery Plus. The base battery works alongside twin electric motors producing 522 horsepower, while the larger pack comes with 563 horsepower. Regardless of which battery you choose, the Taycan 4S will offer a 155 mile per hour top speed and can hit 60 miles per hour in as little as 3.8 seconds. For reference, the base Tesla Model S long range also tops out at 155 and can hit 60 in 3.7 seconds. Considering Porsche's tendency to offer conservative performance, we wouldn't put a lot of stock in the Model S small advantage. Where the Tesla will probably best the Taycan, though, is in terms of range. Porsche hasn't issued range estimates, saying that the EPA figures will be available before the 4S arrives in dealers, but the Model S long range will do 370 miles on a full charge. The newest Taycan, especially with the Performance Battery Plus, should pack more range than the Taycan Turbo and Turbo S, but we'd be surprised if it could cover 280 miles on a full charge. For reference, we estimated following its debut that the Taycan Turbo will return anywhere from 212 to 250 miles on the EPA cycle. The Tesla also comes with a price advantage, although the difference here is far easier to swallow than it was when the $153,000 Turbo and $187,000 Turbo S debuted. The 
the base Taycan 4S starts at $103,800, with the performance battery plus carrying a $6,580 premium. The Model S Long Range starts at $79,990, while the Model S Performance goes for $99,990. What you'll get for the extra price, of course, should be a sublime, well-rounded driving experience. Porsche hasn't detailed which performance options will be available on the 4S, aside from saying it will retain a three-chamber air suspension with adaptive dampers, but if its gas-powered cars are any indication, the new base Taycan will likely be available with the same suite of high-performance suspension tech as the Turbo and Turbo S, for customers willing to spend the money. The Taycan 4S will continue to offer impressive charge speeds, with its 800-volt architecture allowing a 270-kilowatt charge rate with the performance battery plus and a 220 kW rate as standard. Porsche hasn't said how quickly the standard battery can recharge, but the optional setup can still go from 5 to 80% in just 22.5 minutes. The entry-level Taycan will come with 3 years of free charging, up to 30 minutes per session, at Electrify America charges. The 2020 Porsche Taycan 4S will hit dealers in spring 2020. We are expecting to see it in person, though, at November's Los Angeles Auto Show. With the Taycan 4S configurator up and running, we jumped in for our traditional most expensive survey and we won't pull any punches. With no less than $90,720 in options, you could buy base Taycan, a Tesla Model S long range, and still have enough to buy a second-hand first-generation Boxster. All total, we elevated the 4S to $195,870, and with the sheer number of options and combinations that Porsche offers, it's quite possible we missed a few pricier selections. We'll spare you the pain of listing every single option we selected, which includes a $560 leather wallet for the owner's manual, and detail the highlights. It actually starts off with two must-have items totaling $2,610 the fixed panoramic roof and mobile charger connect, and they're must-have because Porsche actually forces you to take them. As such, the Taycan 4S doesn't really start at $103,800, but $106,410. Porsche explained that these are required items at launch, so if you can be patient and want an absolute bare-bones Taycan, you can get it later. From there, the rabbit hole goes very deep. The premium package with Burmester sound system dings you for $10,570, the sound system alone is $5,810, and the performance package is another $6,430. Mind you, that doesn't include the ceramic composite brakes, that will cost an additional $9,970. Nor does the performance package include the 93 kilowatts per hour performance battery, which is an extra $6,580.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Subscribe to Auto TV.